Each year in June, Apple hosts a mega event called Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco. In fact, it's at Apple Park and Tech Today was supposed to be there. But I was in isolation and I had to shoot this show. So we thought, what's the next best thing? If you're feeling a sense of FOMO, we have to get in touch with someone at Apple Park and figure out what was WWDC all about the entire week. There was all the software announcements from the Apple stables and hardware announcements as well. Apple WWDC Worldwide Developer Conference 2022. The big Apple June event went on in full gusto this past week. And now, of course, in the build up to this event, we at Tech Today told you that this year, the flagship software conference will have a bunch of hardware surprises as well. And it did. The keynote was on 6th of June. And given the numerous changes here announced to the Apple ecosystem, it looks like Apple finally means business. If you're an Apple fan in India, then here are the most exciting things coming your way. First and foremost, iOS 16 is getting a major overhaul, a revamped lock screen, which can be customized to almost Android levels of personalization. And that's really something to say. Dictation features have gotten a lot better with Siri, and you will soon be able to unsend texts on the iMessage. Apple also gave us a sneak peek of what CarPlay really looks like. It's car infotainment system interface and the preview indeed looked quite amazing with new widgets and controls galore. But it will only be coming our way late next year. So Ayush and team of course will be surely covering that on this show when they take the next big EV out for a spin. Did you know that nearly one in every three smart watches in the world is an Apple watch? Its market share is nearly three times a lot more than Samsung in the smartwatch space, according to a recent report by CounterPoint. And that's why there would be a lot of people interested in the changes that's coming to the Watch OS 9 for the Apple Watch. The workout app is certainly getting updated here as per what we see. And most importantly, better sleep tracking features are finally coming to the sleep app, allowing users now to track their core, deep and REM sleep patterns. The life-saving AFib functions will be improved as well, making the watch an indispensable health device. Now for the Mac fans, there's a new OS coming and it's called Ventura. It now offers new multitasking features like Stage Manager, which lets users group windows and switch between apps quite easily. There's a lot of other changes, but the real showstopper here seems to be Continuity Camera, which, wait for it, Let's you use the iPhone as a web camera and use the amazing Apple features on the other video calling apps as well. But of course, as we told you a couple of weeks ago, there had to be a hardware surprise and it was indeed a big one. The new MacBook Air with the mighty M2 is finally here with a 13.6 inch display. It packs the new M2 chip, two Thunderbolt ports and comes with up to 18 hours of battery life. Dolby Atmos speakers in four color options and starting at $1,199. They also showcased a MacBook Pro with the M2 chip and these laptops will be coming into India next month and will cost a fair bit more. There was also an iPad OS announcement, but it really pales in comparison to the things that we just highlighted for you here. All in all, this was indeed one of the most eventful WWDCs in recent years and it really looks like now a lot of Android fans will certainly be curious about what just happened at Apple Park. Well, Ayush, you must be quite upset that you missed this one, huh? Now, watching and listening to all those announcements from afar and attending so many virtual briefings over the past couple of days, I'm keen to soon use my iPhone as a web camera. But when it comes to WWDC, well, there was good news and bad news. What do you want, the bad news first or the good news first? Well, let's find out either way. But like I said, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is I couldn't make it to WWDC. The good news is a friend of mine, Nishant Padihar, did make it and he's been at the event all week. Nishant, thanks so much for joining us on Tech Today. This is a FOMO moment for me, but now for the Tech Today community, you have to let us know what's the experience been like being back at Apple Park. First of all, thank you so much, Ayush, for having me on the show. And I can tell you the experience, the vibe, it's absolutely electric. Uh, you know, and for me, it's been, I think, uh, the, the fourth or fifth time that, that I'm that I'm coming here. And even then, the experience does not get uh, you know any less significant because from the moment the bus enters Apple Park and, and the first time you get a glimpse of the spaceship campus, I mean, you really get goosebumps if you are a tech nerd. And then you see the Steve Jobs Theater and you have greeters at every intervals of, you know, 10 meters, 20 meters who are like building the hype and welcoming you to Apple Park. And then when you actually enter, and this was the first time when they actually did the event, not in the Steve Jobs Theater, 
but it was actually out in the in the open in, in the lawns uh, so there was a huge amount of crowd although they've said that you know they that they have a limited amount of journos and devs on site it didn't feel so it actually felt like a rock concert because there were at least about 2000 people there and the vibe was just fantastic you know with the apple employees and when tim cook get, gets on stage it's almost like you know bono has gotten on stage so the the the, the crowd just erupts into uh, you know uh, it's fantastic you have to be there to believe it. it's like watching a cricket match uh, in a stadium i can imagine i can only imagine because this one looked electric also all of us were back traveling with a vengeance because we've been at home for so long we've seen so many of these launch events from home and what well, i saw at home yet again but since you were there something that a lot of us were connected on was social media and on instagram twitter a lot of us were talking about it but one big change that came from the software side of things and there is a hardware surprise that we all know about now was ios 16 getting quite a decent sort of overhaul in my view nishant i thought it looked a lot more like apple taking one step back and saying okay let's also consider the android way because this looked you know pop colors a uh, very interesting ways of using even the clock on the home screen did it seem apple as to you well in the last few years they have been playing a bit of catch up to uh, to android in terms of you know functionality uh, of the lock the lock screen and now with glance you know on android if people know what glance is where where you can do a lot more uh, you can interact with your phone a lot more with glance on android i i uh, i think this is apple's way of going the glance way but actually it make make it even better and make it slightly more secure as well because it's not just you know uh, the customization of the emojis of the colors of the fonts uh, it also goes uh, i think one step ahead because it also integrates with focus so the moment you change the lock screens you can also just swipe away your work so for example if you're clocking out of work at 5 pm you can just with a swipe change the uh, change the lock screen and with that you won't just be changing the lock screen but also all the settings of so suddenly you can get into personal mode so you can you can shut down work emails you can shut down work calls so i think apple has done uh, as they usually do a much more deeper integration of uh, the active lock screen uh, and i'm really excited to actually use it we're both on ipads having this conversation and i found something fascinating which largely comes in from the fact that i don't need to use my macbook camera anymore and that's a separate change for the ipad there were smaller changes and this a lot of apple fanboys and tech geeks have discussed before that the iPad is not becoming a MacBook anytime soon those operating systems are going to be watertight different they keep talking about it that they're going to add that functionality to the iPad but it's still not there yeah. it's a great device in what it is so i think the iPad is a long way off from when we get that super device which you can actually use as a touch screen have the functionality of the iPad the great displays and of course also get the keyboard like functionality and the OS of uh, of a MacBook but When we're talking about MacBooks, something that I found very interesting with their new Mac OS Ventura for content creators, and this is something that stood out for me, is the fact that you can use continuity camera, something which is ingenious. I think the last time they bowled us over, Nishant was with universal control, and now with 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 just this, that you can use your iPhone now as a web camera and really get the best out of your iPhone camera and not. deal yeah. with these pixelated cameras that we have on our other devices it's a great feature absolutely i completely completely agree with you and what is even uh, even more innovative i think again you know a bit of apple special sauce on it is that they have something called the desk view which ba- which basically simulates an an overhead camera using the ultra wide camera from your iphone so you place the uh, the iphone on top of your ipad or your mac and just using the ultra wide camera without changing the angle of your screen it actually yeah. emulates what you would have as an overhead camera view which is great for you know making unboxing videos for creators like us again uh, so yeah. that is i think that and that i think had a huge response and huge applause from the crowd live at the event as well because people were not expe- expecting that at all it just blindsided everybody and it was a, a, a bit of that apple special sauce and you know magic dust no absolutely and in terms of the other things that were also done i think there were of course a bunch of changes to mac os ventura and then one more thing which happened to be <laughs> the hardware surprise that we were waiting for the macbook air is here it comes with the mighty m2 and i think you got a hands on with it as well i did and it feels different it feels a bit of a, like a like a macbook pro because they've gotten rid of the wedge shape which has been iconic since the first time steve jobs unveiled it from the you know from the manila envelope many many years ago and it's it's been basically the similar design 
just uh, different iterations of it over the over the last decade or so so this is the first time that uh, the macbook air is seeing a com- complete change in terms of the form factor so it feels closer to the macbook pro now because it's flatter but it feels very dense and i use the midnight uh, uh, shade which is the new one and it feels absolutely stunning again you know typically a- apple in terms of its build quality in terms of its finish in terms of its denseness the way the 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 the, sh- the, uh, the lid shuts down but of course it's all about the the power performance and the, the you know the the fanless design so it feels so so light in your hands and at the same time i think i had about uh, 10 15 minutes with it we opened photoshop we opened final cut pro we opened facetime all of these apps were on at the same time and all popped up instantly you know there's no waiting there's no lag uh, there's no spinning wheel the rainbow wheel that we used to for a large software to open up so i think m2 is really a big step up over the m1 but they are very very particular about just laying down the facts that the m1 ultra and the m1 max and the m1 pro will still be more powerful than the m2 so the m2 will still remain the entry level if you want slightly more power for the real professional needs you will have to still use the m1 ultra max or the pro and with a sense of fomo i am still grateful that you joined us on tech today thanks so much prashant and i i really hope that you enjoy your sunny days in san francisco thank you so much ayush pleasure being here If you like the video do like comment share and subscribe